Garrett Perkins said it. It's Friday, and you know what that means. It's time for Zach Lowe's 10 Things column out on ESPN.com, where he tells us the things that he Great. likes and the things that he does not like right now across the NBA. Where is he? Zach Lowe. There is the man, the myth, the legend. All right, Zach, number one on your list. What you got? The Oklahoma City Thunder sneakily tied for seventh place right now in the Western Conference. Tied with the Clippers, with whom they can swap picks this year because of that trade. Look, there was a lot of alarmist talk about, oh, Oklahoma City, they're tanking. They're ruining the NBA. I was guilty of it, too. I own that. At the end of the day, they were bad for just two seasons. Other teams have been bad for much longer. They have found something with this small ball group of Shea, Dort, Giddy, and Jalen Williams. They're running around. They're switching. They're cutting. They're passing. They're legit. They're solid. They're going to stay in the play and race for the rest of the season. All right. I like it, but I'm bringing my friend Shanae Gumake into the conversation, and we're going to put 24 seconds on the clock here. When it is all said and done, Shanae. Do you think the Oklahoma City Thunder are going to the playoffs? It is time for the Thunder to start shaking up the atmosphere. I absolutely believe so. Seven and three in their last ten. I think the Warriors trend un upward. And I'm also looking forward to next year. You know why? Chet Holmgren is healthy. Yes. Now that's when you feel like, all right, they fully will be absolutely at the start of the season in the playoffs. But right now, they can be in the play-in. They can be cute. But the future is very bright. The future the is bright. The sky is clear. The sky is clear. Just a little bit of thunder. Yeah, I have a feeling. In the atmosphere. I have a feeling the thunder is going to start <laughs> to shake things up. All right, Zach, come with me, please, because that's just number one on Zach's 10 things. Shanae Gumake, thank you very much. Why am I standing over here? Well, because we need to get to number two, Richard Jefferson, on Zach Lowe's list. Zach, what else you got for us? Uh, what am I supposed to be talking about here? Aaron Gordon or something else? I can't yes. remember. Aaron Gordon. Yes. There yes, it is. Please. Aaron Gordon. Look, Aaron Gordon was miscast as a wing and a ball handler in Orlando. It didn't work. He is in the absolute perfect spot right now. Cutting off Nikola Jokic, hunting post-ups, dishing assists, leading the break. It's the perfect role for him. He guards every position on the floor. And I'll say this. I haven't done my full list of 12 guys yet. Aaron Gordon is on that short, short list for one of the last couple of all-star spots in the Western mm. Conference. He's been that good, 17 a game on almost 60% shooting and all defense level defense. All right, but here's the thing, Richard. We're going to put 24 seconds on I'm the gonna clock. Use, I'm going to use, I'm going to overtime. We're going to get an offensive rebound well, but and let me another 14. Add a little bit more information for you to, to, to think about here. He said in an interview with Sports Illustrated, Aaron Gordon did, that if he is an all star, he will do the dunk contest. I don't care about any of that stuff. Okay. That, that's extra no, stuff. Don't that's, e go. Yeah, no, go. That, that, that's extra stuff. That's great. This is my thing. Aaron Gordon deserves to be in the. For anybody that says Denver should win the championship, they need two all-stars on their team. Don't tell me what the Denver situation is if you don't have Aaron Gordon on that list because, to me, they're not number one. L Jokic, we know. They're six. They're three, right, if they don't, if he doesn't have the health around him. When he has the help in the health around him, they're the number one team. So if they're the number one team, you should have an all-star. Don't tell me that Denver's your favorite to come out of the West and they only have one all-star. They have two, and the second one is Aaron Gordon. All right. I like them having a second all-star. Yeah. I also like them participating Aaron and Gordon the dunk contest the dunk is cool. Contest. He should have won a dunk contest. You know don't what I'm saying? Anger I don't mind me, Richard. That. What's up? When you anger me, oh. this video comes back. I have no problem. This just gets me more likes. I posted oh, it on no. my Instagram for years. <laughs> Check out my IG. It's on there. To the 10 things column because there are eight more things from this column that I wish we could get into all of them, but we only have time for one more. Perhaps it lies in Los Angeles, Zach. What's the last thing we were going to talk about here? No team, not one, is under more pressure than the L.A. Clippers who need to realize that the season actually started about three months ago and they need to start caring about these games because then we're going to get to the playoffs. We're going to say, oh my gosh, we have no rhythm, no continuity. Their offense is still stuck in mud. They have no identity. I mean, it's just so disorganized. Here goes Paul George. Kawhi cuts right in to the passing lane. He has to Terrence Mann. Almost sabotages the whole thing. And then they just all sort of stand around. Watch Kawhi dribble, dribble. Now, Kawhi can do that, but it's not going to work every time. No movement, no cutting, no backup plan. Blech. Goodbye, ball. What was and that then noise? again, here. Okay, Marcus Moore, that was blah. Then, okay, we're going to all just sort of meander around. Here comes the screen. Finally, there's 12 on the shot clock. That's great. Nothing happens. Good defense by the Sixers, who are killing it right now, by the way. Kick the ball out to Terrence, man. Hey, there's got to be a plan B. There's probably another screen coming, a secondary action. So, no? 
Oh, okay. We're just going to watch Terrence Mann dribble for a while. They just are, they just have no coherent identity, and it's year four of this, and no team is under more pressure as we approach the trade deadline than the Clippers, who, like hmm. I said before, are tied with the Thunder, the team that owns all their draft picks. Owns all of their draft picks. So, 3,000 words you wrote in this column. 367 of them were about the Clippers, but we know that Perk likes to just give us yeah. one word. One word of the day yeah. to describe the Clippers, Perk. Yeah, you know, I've been working on my English, but I'm going outside my comfort zone, and I'm going French here, right? Oh. Laporte, right? Laporte. <laughs> what? Yeah, there you go, right there. Le what? The, the, Fr the, Le French, the French term for a person who <laughs> likes to lose. And since we stand French, we're going to stay in Paris, France, because the Clippers seem like, to me, they're trying to enter the sweet states for Victor who? Uh, Victor Wembanyama. There we go. But That's what's exactly what's going on. One problem with that, Zach, as we just mentioned, who owns most of the the Clippers picks right now? Swap rights this year. Swap rights this year for the uh, Thunder. They might as well own one of Steve Ballmer's houses <laughs> on the beach in the LA or Seattle or something. The way they own they own that team's assets. I'm All right, saying, Malika, help me out with the word. You've been taking those old French you. classes. I got you. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.